Hi guys, welcome to another Past and Present Squad Builder by myself, Bates and 87 Today we are going to be taking a look at the Past and Present Real Madrid team. A team we haven't really looked at um, this FIFA anyway in terms of um, in terms of uh, all the past players they've had. And it's crazy, like we did Manchester United last week, that did very well. Massive thank you for your support on that video. And uh, with this one round as well, I was expecting to see a lot more icon related players but guess what he absolutely called the lot of them because they were legends and now they're not icons you don't realize until you actually do something like this that the a lot of them have disappeared but there has been some brand new additions um actually just one I'm trying to think of it just one i think one brand new icon into this team you guys probably don't know who it already is as we've done a video around him this week already now if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheat game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we try and hit over 4,000 likes, that'd be brilliant. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. And feel free to hit that bell button so you never miss an upload on the channel so you get notified as well. So, past and present Real Madrid, guys. We've got Ilya Remendi, now of uh, Sociedad. Guerrero of Valencia. We've got Michael Owen as well, a uh, lone icon. Not going to be using him today. Huntelaar, Meza Ozil as well. A lot of these players have gone on to progress their careers as well. Uh, Ozil was a bit of a weird one when he left Real Madrid. I was surprised he left, and I think a lot of people were. Ian Robin went to Munich. Albiol as well. He's uh, now at Napoli. Kadira at Juventus. Schneider, um, I think he's actually gone to the Chinese League. I could be wrong on that one, um, but uh, I'm going to... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We've got Pepe um, of Besiktas as well. He was one of the bigger ones which left recently. Michael Laudrop as well, and also James Rodriguez, who is... Currently out on loan um, at Bayern Munich, but he has got a buy option, so I'm going to count him as a pass player as well. So in this team, guys, we've got a few current players of Real Madrid. I think only three of them, and the rest are X. That's how we aim to build the teams, even though a lot of you guys do think that some current players should make it into the team itself. So in the goalkeeper position, guys, we have got a special card. I think it might be a full special card team as well, um, and it is going to be one of the 83 rated players. 86, sorry. 83 base. It is 86 rated Ike Casillas of Porto. Um, a lot of people are saying he's hanging up his boots. He could have confirmed that by the time this video does go live. Um, but we do have um, Ike Casillas, one of the best keepers we've ever seen in the world of football. In the centre-back position on the left-hand side, guys, we do have Team of the Year Sergio Ramos. Um, a very, very good centre-back in game and in real life. I uh, watched a video, I think, of him last week of his uh, art of defending against PSG. Um, and if you guys see me on Twitter, you probably will have seen it already as well because I did link it there. Um, in the centre-back position next to him, we have got Fernandez. And I think Fernandez is the final... No, there is one more Real Madrid player, guys. I'll add him in um, now as well. And it is obviously Team of the Year Ronaldo going in the left midfield position. So they're the only three current Real Madrid players we are using. Obviously, a lot of people say Modric, Cruz would deserve to be in the all-time greatest uh, team now as well. Um, but... We have gone with this. In the left back position, we have got uh, an untradeable, and it is not going to be Marcelo, it's going to be Roberto Carlos. Um, a lot of people remember some of the insane goals he did score for not only um, Brazil, but also Real Madrid. 11 years at Real Madrid, 512 appearances and 66 goals as well. Um, absolutely insane ratio uh, for a player like that. In the right back position, we do have Juan Fran. Um, interestingly enough, ex-Real Madrid, didn't really break it into the first team, got loaned out and then obviously joined for Atletico. Um, not a bad uh, defender in game either. We've already played with the team. It was a fun team to use, uh, even if it was the daily knockout tournament. But Juan Fran does count as an ex Real Madrid player. So we've got three ex and three current uh, in the team at the moment. And it's going to get even better, guys. Centre midfield position on the right hand side is going to uh, left hand side sorry it is going to be 92 rated end of era kaka um solid player not only at ac milan but also at real madrid as well unfortunately i can't click in and see how his appearance is for him um, but this card is brilliant apart from a lot of people which are talking about his stamina issue but i don't really find it an issue anyway and um he makes it on into the team. Joining him is going to be an icon, guys, and it is going to be Hadji, uh, a player yet again who has played for both Barcelona and Real Madrid. Two years at each, 84 appearances for Real Madrid and 20 goals there as well. Um, not bad. Mainly a Galatina, Galatasaray legend, didn't he? But uh, he obviously was at Real Madrid and Barca as well, hence why I put him on in there. Um, not a bad icon, actually. Didn't really do much for me in the games we played. Yeah, three games and one assist. Not the best, but what did Kaká get? Ten games, one goal, two assists. So, yeah. Not the most instrumental of uh, players, guys. But when you see the players around them, that's where it all does come from. In the right midfield position, 
Di Maria, ex-Real Madrid as well, went on to Manchester United and now on to PSG. So two clubs ago, he played for them. Doing all right at PSG, has got a few higher rated cards um, as well, but solid player, actually. Three games, one assist, and he's got five-star skills and two-star weak foot. It's not bad cutting on his left foot. And then the final two players um, in this team are going to be absolutely insane, guys. One of them, I was still surprised when he left. He went to Napoli, uh, and then obviously is at Juventus now, and it is going to be the 93-rated Higuain. Um, 84 pace, 92 shooting, 88 dribbling, 80 physical. He's a very cheap player as well, under 200k. Three games, three goals, three assists. And uh, it's pretty obvious who his partner's going to be, guys. But an absolutely brilliant um, player individually as well. So people who guys who rock the Serie A, Calcio A teams, um, definitely would recommend putting Higuain in there. Now in the final striker position, guys, is going to be the, one of the highest rated players and best players that I've played with this FIFA, even, even if it's only been uh, for a matter of three Three games guys it is going to be the nine well if it does decides to load up anyway it's going to be the 96 rated ronaldo two ronaldo's in this team guys this one 97 pace 95 shooting he's a two cover stars as well for this team um 81 passing 95 dribbling and 76 physical there has been a lot of complaints about him as well but 10 games 13 goals six assists five star skills five star weak foot and uh, he's just absolutely insane looking at his in-game stats as well he is just absolutely ridiculous one of the best finishers i have used and you can see another player who's played for barcelona and real madrid four years at real madrid 177 games 104 goals before moving on to my Milan and then the Corinthians and um, those who played for Inter, PSV and Cruzeiro as well. So a, rid a ridiculous player. One of my favourite players growing up watching. Uh, R9 Ronaldo, it's just a shame that he was hit with injuries all the way throughout his career. Um, but honestly, when I, you guys, if you follow me on Twitter and YouTube, you will have seen how hyped I was that he was seen as one of the cover stars and the and the main face guys for icons in FIFA 18. Just a shame at the way they've been released, and that obviously we've had to wait six months to get our hands on this version of Ronaldo, um, and it's not the one with the daft haircut as well. But it is a sick card. I've enjoyed playing with it in this team, and uh, this is the past and present Real Madrid team, guys. We have built for you today so if you see any players different maybe you would add players in maybe you would put um at, um i would say Abelo. i put Abelo in last year and everyone kicked off um but maybe uh uh, Abelo, no, what's his name? Carvajal. Carvajal in the right back, but I wanted to add as many X players we got. Um, we've only got three current, and uh, the other eight players are X guys in uh, Casillas, Carlos, Juan Fran, Di Maria, Hadji, Kaka, Ronaldo, and Higuain. So, guys, that's us done. Leave a like rating. Let me know if you want to do any more past and presents in the future. I'm always down to do it, guys. Uh, leave comments if you want to see a if you would have picked a different team. If I'm playing, missing players on the bench and reserves as well, feel free to let me know, guys. But until then, see you all later. Have a very, very nice day. Let's go and check the highlights with R9 Ronaldo and company. So, guys, moving on into the highlights with the team itself. It was fun. Like, this was my first time of using, apart from the start of FIFA, but as you guys know, FIFA's changed so much in the uh, past couple of months anyway with the patches and gameplay changes and that, you know? Um, so it's nice to get a run round with Ronaldo. Ronaldo stand out traits guys he is one of the best finishers from the d-line and inside the area i have ever used now i have seen pros complain about him unsure why this was the daily knockout and um, there's no complaints about that guys daily knockout can be very easy as you see ronaldo's dribbling and finishing like he was so fast to release that ball from the time i press the shoot uh, to the ball going to the back of the net my finger was still on the button you know so um he does help he is a he is a cheat code as a lot of people refer to players like that um they, he's probably going to be one of the if you ever do come up against a pro player guys more likely they are going to have the r9 ronaldo in the striker position usually partnered with the team the year Ronaldo um, next to him as well so we have both of them in the team now a few of the players you probably wouldn't expect to see um, in the weekend league or even away from uh, any other game modes is the Higuain card one card which I've not really come up against um, this FIFA he is absolutely ridiculous so strong clinical finisher and uh, very good at hand handling manhandling the people around him and you'll see a few examples of that as well when uh, the defenders try to be brutal on him and he just dances past very nice uh, link with the ball. Now, Kaká gives up the ball a lot, but don't go to... Like, if you've got him, um, you really can't get him now because he's untradeable. Um, he is a very, very good central midfielder. Him and Hadji did the work for me. Um, they didn't really make any mistakes. That's one of the reasons why I'm not really talking about them that much. It's because they didn't really do much for me, but they didn't do much that I would complain about in the midfield, you know. So, 
I was more than happy to rock them to there. The defence, Sergio Ramos, Nacho, uh, Roberto Carlos and Juan Fran as well. Two, uh, like One of the best defences I've used in a while. Not so sure about Casillas. Casillas was a dodgy keeper uh, in this game, especially the goals he was conceding. I was not happy with the state of the goals he was conceding. But what can you do, guys? Um, he's an 86 rate goalkeeper. There are so many better alternatives to him. Um, but yeah, it's just one of them things. I would much rather use um, some of the better goalkeepers in the game. Um, but obviously, he was one of the best in the world. And unfortunately, um, he looks, looks like he's going to be hanging up his boots now. And this was a clip, guys, I was talking about with Higuain, guys. Very, very strong. Um, holds off the defenders and able to work space for that shot that he does have. Um, so the defence is alright, midfield is alright, Di Maria Ronaldo, we know how good they are. Um, honestly, the striking, um, the strikers were just unreal. Them two compensated each other very, very well. This goal, perfect link up, one two pass, and Higuain with a finish with his left foot, um, making it three two, and actually getting us back into this game. Um, that it continues to get even better, though, guys, because we are able to seal this game off in the 84th minute. We build an attack, ball through to Di Maria, and the, the rest is history. So, guys, if you do want to see any more past and present squad builders done, feel free to let me know once the world cup comes around it looks like it's the end game of fifa that's when we'll start doing the best possibles and um, but up until this point guys i'm enjoying doing these past and presents and we still not even touch the surface with them leave a comment subscribe all that good stuff guys and we'll be back with another video for you guys to enjoy probably sometime tomorrow